it's looking like a wonderful morning on Hope Month, <laughs> let's check our mailbox and see if we have anything interesting. Oh, we got a note from Plucky. I went back to my hometown to see my peeps from the old days. Funny, I remember them as being way wilder than they are now. But I guess I've settled down too, huh? Time will do that to you. Thinking about life, plucky. Words of wisdom. Oh, fauna. Guess what? I came up with a new nickname that's perfect for you. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Oh yeah, what is it? I'd like to call you Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think? I'm um, not feeling it. Uh, not quite right then. What kind of nickname sounds better to you? <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take a page from Plucky's book. Uh, let's see. There we go. Peep. <laughs> so we're agreed. That's what I should call you. Um, that's perfect. Then starting today, you're Peep. Or at least that's what I'll be calling you. <laughs> okay. All right. Later. All right. We need to get this chair kind of out of the way. So I think since my property goes all the way back, I'll go ahead and push these chairs back a little. Oh boy, I got a hose caddy back there too. Okay, let's see. I don't think the hose caddy will interfere with that. So we'll just go ahead and push these back a little. I still haven't come up with anything for the peninsula, but I'm thinking about it. And I haven't finished Fauna's Fence because I don't have any more pink roses. And we watered these, hoping that they would spread a little. But so far, I haven't seen any. And I'm sure Fauna waters them too. She waters a lot around the island, I have noticed. She's always got a, a watering can. Hey. There's a butterfly, and you know, I got a peacock butterfly yesterday. That makes two. So let's put this can away and get out our net and see if we can catch that and see what it is. I also caught a Madagascar butterfly. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, it's the Madagascan Sunset Moth. I caught one of those yesterday, too. And wouldn't that make a nice addition to the park as a model? Yes, it would. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. What have I got in my pockets? Oh, my goodness. I've got just a mess of stuff in my pockets, including shells and recipes. Okay. A multi-purpose vest. Oh boy. I can't even remember where I got that. Well, we'll put our net away for sure. Oh, there's Dora. Boy, she's far from home. Are you loving the lake, Dora? Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. That's okay. That's okay. There goes Fauna. <laughs> She's one of my peeps. <laughs> what now? Spork doing exercises? What? <laughs> Yay, it's Shamelin! Let's talk. What are you doing? I might copy you. I could be Shamelin Jr. for the day. 
Spork, you're always trying to pull that. <laughs> Let's give you something. We've got a bunch of stuff. Let's see. How about a multi-purpose vest? <laughs> I want the paper bag. Let's see. We'll give you a multi-purpose vest. This is real great. My other clothes are kind of crusty, so I'm going to try this on right now. Sweet. That looks good on you. <laughs> What do you think? Not one stain or smear. Thanks, Shamelin. Here, Shamelin, a bottle chip just for you, by all means. Oh, thanks, Spork. You're a trooper. Looks like we have kicks in the in the resident services courtyard today. Murphy's at home. Let's go in and see what he's up to. Oh, he's sleeping. We should let him sleep. He still has that Easter candy in there that we gave him. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's check our um, Nook Miles goals. Oh, well, we've talked to three neighbors, that's for sure. Cooking, deep sea fishing, cutting down trees, catching a sea bass, which is never too hard because they're always out there. All right, I think we need to get our shed out and put some things away. I was trying to do something on acre six and um, that's our next acre. And I was not successful. And uh, uh, let's see, I don't want those. We did get our orchid mantis model from Flick in the mail the other day, and we need to put it in the park. So we have a lot of things to get rid of. Now, let's run over to Acre 6. All right, this is Acre 6. And this is where Ed is going to live. Now, normally... Okay. And Acre 6 is D... 11, 6, and 8. And 8, of course, stands for Ed. So we have moved his house here. And we moved it a little off center because we've got one entrance to the park here and another entrance to the park here. So we wanted him kind of centrally located, but we wanted room over here to do our double cliffs. So this is his corner. And he goes straight back to um, Rattles, Flowers. So he does have a little room back here. So we moved his house. And my first inclination for a horse character is always set up the farm, get out the cactus and the barbed wire fence, blah, blah, blah. And that's good. I mean, for, for horses like Elmer, you know, that we had before. But Ed is a horse of a different color, so to speak. And so we were trying to do something different. See, I was using a double balcony panel and I was putting it up. Well, I had a door, of course, but I was putting it up to make it look like apartment building, you know, kind of a city dweller. That's what I was 
trying to make Ed was a city dweller, but <laughs> I couldn't make it work. It, it just didn't look right. And so I've been modifying it. Now, most would think, oh, I've got to have two cliffs, and so I'm just going to do a waterfall. And I'd rather not just fall into that, uh-oh, I'm just going to do a waterfall. Is that a peacock butterfly? Oh, we're going to have a hard choice this time. It is. Okay. Well... Shoot. <laughs> and then we've got, I made the path coming out of the park a little bit crooked. So he's got this little corner over here that he can do something with too. Of course, Mint's house will be moving. So that'll be a little more visible. And I was trying to do a little apartment building over here and I couldn't quite make it work and let me just show you what I used. So I'm still contemplating but I do kind of want to make him more of a city boy than a country boy and he's living next to the park but he does love flowers is what I read about him. So he is snooty and he, he can still make friends with people, but he is snooty. Um, and we have the Orchid Mantis model that we need to find a place for in the garden. Now, the Orchid Mantis, they like white flowers. And so I'm thinking we could put it here by these white pansies. I don't know that I have any more white flowers around. Except for the lily of the valley. Hmm. No, I think we'll put it by the white pansies. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's not tall. Oh, we might have to set it on that log. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, yes, we can. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay. Awesome. So next time we see Flick, we're going to have a hard decision to make. And we're going to have to choose between the Madagascan Sunset Moth and the peacock butterfly. Oh boy. So maybe I'll do a maybe I'll do a question on the community for that. Let's see, we're gonna put something away before we forget and sell them. <laughs> now let me show you a few changes I've made on uh, rattles acre before we go any further because I think they're kind of cool. Oh look, he's got honey spilling out of his pots and he's got honey spilling out of his hives. The, the bees are extra busy. Look, there's one now. He's flying around by the pot. That's pretty cool. Yay! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here he's coming back to the hive. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look, we got our other blue pansy. I've been watering over here, too, trying to get another blue pansy. And it's finally grown in. Yay for the honeybee. <laughs> and today is 4-11. So there's only 11 more days until Earth Day. 11 more days. Oh, what's that butterfly? <laughs> Boy, we're getting all the special butterflies this morning, aren't we? Without even trying. That's the sunset? No, the Raha Brooks. Oh, I got one of those yesterday, too. Oh, boy. We're going to have a really big question on our hands. Let's see what's in this balloon. 
And if it sounds like I'm stalling, I am. <laughs> A bunny dress? What? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, before we get started on Mr. City Boy, we'll head over to Nook's and get rid of some of the things in our pocket. There are a lot of butterflies out today. Oops, we, we missed it. <laughs> Spork is still exercising. Hello, boys. We need to get rid of some things. Oh boy, that's about 8,000 bells in our pocket. Thank you. Let's see. City boy, city boy. <laughs> well, I guess first thing we could do is check our inventory and see what a pathways we want. I think, um, you know, his coloring, he could do, he could just do the city. Hmm, let's see. Let's take a look at our shed. Maybe I have an idea. Let's try something out. Maybe since he's near the park and he's kind of city-ish, um, we will let him do a Airbnb kind of thing. He's going to have a place for guests that come to the park to stay that aren't staying at the campground and that would give the town a little more um, a little more um, space for guests so what we'll start with we're going to have to do a little bit of destruction before we do construction <laughs> let's take this back And then we'll go up. Oh, you know, that's going to be a little complicated. Hmm, okay. Because we're so limited by where we can put the cliffs, that's going to make it a little more difficult. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> that was a good jump. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go, we're going to hollow this out. And then we'll build this up a little bit. And 
have it come out. It'll be like a big room, and that'll be his Airbnb. What do you think of that? <laughs> and then we could put carpet in here. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to need a tall cliff. I don't know if this is going to work, but we could. Because Ed's colors are so bright, we could try to make this work and have a little Airbnb. Hmm, we'll have to go get a carpet for the room. All right, let's try this. Wow, it's almost like doing a happy home vacation home. <laughs> we'll see what we can fit in here. We'll need a bed, of course, and a little kitchenette, maybe a shower. Just a little room where people can come and rent and stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I don't know if the plaza... Um, stuff is is going to be adequate. It might be too too cutesy for this. Let's push that one more time. There. Hmm. So we'll take that down. Can Ed be an Airbnb guy? Should we move his house? We need to have a two-story cliff, but I think um, we can put that we can put that behind his house. I don't want to um, close off rattles beehives, but hmm. Let me check and see. Acre 6 is next to Acre 11. Oh, and Acre 11 has to have two cliffs also. Well, isn't that lucky for us? Because we can... We can build another cliff over here on this side. I guess that's one of the pros about knowing what your future squares are. Um, because then you can plan for things like this. So, if Acre 11 has to have two cliffs, then... we'll be able to Build this acre out a little bit. And since the, the dotted line is usually on the inside of the line, right, then the line is right here. 
And this is the other property, so there's no real way we can still do two cliffs over here. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, that's tough. Let's try it. I don't think we'll be able to do it. <laughs> because they don't want you to build solid. Alright. We can build here. But we can't build any closer. And since this technically is on the other side, see we can't build here, and then we can't build here. Alright, so this is technically on the other side, so square acre 11 would have two cliffs, but technically Ed's acre would not have two cliffs. Hmm. Alright, so if we look at the map... Oh, we're still pretty far from the corner. Okay. So, uh, yeah. This is the corner. So we could redirect the path a little bit. Okay, I think we can make this work. All right, we'll redirect the path. And then we'll be able to build out that one section of wall. Ray, well, this might work. I just don't know <laughs> how all this is going to look. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the path. Right next to the... This is on the pr property. This is on Ed's property. Okay. And then... Let's see. Alright, so he can go, he can go up two spaces, and over two spaces, and we'll do that three times. Alright, and then we can get our ladder, and go up. There. 
That's our second cliff. So we'll just make a little sign. It says ads or something. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Who knew this could be so complicated? And then we'll finish off the two the cliff on this side. And then we'll go back up. <sighs> and finish off the cliff on this side. And maybe we can put some lights up here or something. Hmm. Well, it's a start anyway. <laughs> Yes, it's a start. So Ed, I wish he didn't have such a drab house. For such a colorful character, he really has a drab house. Anyway, he'll have to have some things in his yard that the people can use. And he'll just be a landlord. And he'll have his little Airbnb. And then he can always sneak to the back and go to the beehives. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to extend that a little bit. And make a big sign that says Ed's. <laughs> we'll have to see. Let's see what we can do. We'll continue working on this big puzzle. Oh my goodness. This one's going to be a tough one for me because I have no clue. But we'll continue to gather some stuff and try to make it a nice little Airbnb spot for Ed to be the landlord. Landlord Ed. Let's see what we can find. Um, in our recipes, do we have any good beds in our recipes? We don't want a country bed or a log bed. I wish we could use walls in there, but we have enough simple panels we could probably come up with something. There's a little stone kitchen, but we really don't want to do Rustic, we want it to be modern and sleek. Terrarium. These walls, that would be ideal. And I don't want to do shelves. We'll have to go to Nook Shopping and see what we can come up with for this room. It'll be pretty interesting. I don't think we want the walls the same as the floor. That would be too much like a box. So we'll work on our wallpaper for that. We'll continue to try to collect some cool bugs for the next time Flick is in town. Spork's house. 
We haven't talked to Bud lately. Where's Bud? Where has Bud been these days? There's Camo Frog. Here's Bud. Let's see if Bud's home. Uh oh, Camo Frog tried to catch us out there, but we were too quick. Hey, it's Shane Lynn. How are you doing? We haven't caught up lately. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring in your step. Have you been skipping leg day? <laughs> What's that? Oh, you're not going to believe it. I made a barbell. I was out jogging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile. Inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. And stay hydrated. Whoa, when did you learn to make a barbell? Oh, I don't remember. That figures. Well, keep working that brain muscle. I want to see what you can do. Actually, you know what would be really cool? If everyone could make a barbell. Here, take this recipe and share it around. We'll do it, bud. Ignore the sweat stains. Those aren't part of the recipe. Okay. I think we've missed our opportunity with Camel Frog. He tried to catch us before we went in. And I didn't see him until we'd already gone in. And he's not home. Huh. There he is. Aw. Oh, Peanut, I was just thinking about you. How are things on the home front? Your place treating you well? I thought I might stop by sometime and maybe give it the old look-see. What do you think? Sure thing. Well then, let's go. Sorry for barging in, kiddo. I'm just full of mustard today. <laughs> Come on in. Do you want some tea? Say, are you still going to drink your fancy tea set? Sorry, I know it's rude to ask about another's beverage. At least, that's what I was taught growing up. <laughs> Nobody wants my tea. <laughs> well, you've got a real nice place, but I figure I probably ought to be hitting the road soon. Take care. I gotta admit, this was a gas. I'll see you around, kiddo. I think it's funny that he was wearing a camo shirt. <laughs> yep, that's pretty funny. Ah, well, I think I'm just gonna relax by the pool today and take it easy. I hope you all have a wonderful day, too. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you'd like to see how acre six turns out please hit the subscribe button we're going to be working all the way to acre 20 and see what we can come up with and if you have any ideas please let me know uh, ed's acre is going to be a tough one bye for now please join shamelin again with her neighbors dora murphy plucky camel frog Rattle, Spork, Bud, Mint, Fauna, and Ed. We'll see you soon.